in today's video I thought I would go around Melbourne because a lot of people have been asking why we don't wear masks outside and that's because Melbourne is essentially COVID free so I wanted to like come out and just document this COVID free day of mine <laughs> um anyway so yeah it's quite sunny today so I thought it was like the perfect time to just come out and do this and yeah it's super sunny I'm in a dank alleyway because it's really quiet there's nobody here so I don't feel as awkward talking to a camera by myself so yeah anyways um, first thing on the agenda is chai latte so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get a chai latte from a cafe called two conversations probably read a book since it's so sunny and then probably I don't know, explore Melbourne a little bit, show you guys around, show you how COVID free it is because there's literally nobody wearing masks anymore. You can choose to but it's not compulsory so yeah I thought I'd show you guys around. <laughs> oh and while I've got you guys I'm wearing my Melbourneian jacket. Every time I wear this jacket people just know that I'm from Melbourne. Um, I got it at a flea market, it was like five dollars but I managed to haggle it down I think to like two fifty or something. I wore this jacket purely for this video to represent Melbourne. <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. Let's get some chai in us. Because that's a very Melbourneian thing to do is to get chai. <laughs> finally settled at the cafe and I had my chai latte which was one of the best chai lattes I've had in a while. I also managed to sneak in a few quiet moments, reading my book, just enjoying the sights and sceneries. This cafe is out in the alleyway so make sure you rock up and keep warm because that can get cold in Melbourne simply because we have four seasons in one day. So I'm just walking past Flinders Street Station at this point which is one of our iconic landmarks. It's actually known for being unfinished but that's pretty much Melbourne we're always under construction this train station actually connects all of us to Metro Melbourne so it's one of our main train stations as well we also have Federation Square which is also another iconic landmark it's known as being one of the ugliest buildings in the world but I guess beauty is subjective and I personally think it's unique this is our Yarra River which was historically known as the Yarra Yarra River there's some people practicing down there. I like to watch people I guess row sometimes because it's kind of therapeutic. Next is our Eiffel Tower. It's just across from Flinders Street. Um, to me it looks like the Eiffel Tower. I know some people will beg to differ but it's the closest thing to an Eiffel Tower that I'll see for a very very long time. Oh my god it's so cold. As you can tell by my sniffly voice that the clouds have overshadowed the sun and it's super cold now. So typical of Melbourne to have a different change in weather. So I'm seeking warmth in the comfort of the National Gallery building. We have to scan a QR code before we enter which I think is really great for contact tracing so I don't find it cumbersome to do. Unfortunately there's no running exhibition at the moment. Previously there was the Trenual exhibit but that ended a while ago so there's current construction going on. 
So now there's only permanent exhibits on display. This includes historical paintings, artworks and other artifacts from various regions around the world. The first room I encountered had a myriad of Asian artifacts on display. I was able to observe the ancient relics and read all about it. Further upstairs was a smaller exhibit which housed different ancient Egyptian relics. Next to it was a film display which showed old vintage clips of natives hunting. I was especially captivated by the process by which they carried out their hunting rituals, so I kind of spent some time there watching and learning with a couple of other people. After that, I kind of just wandered around the gallery a little bit more. I was seeing different paintings and artworks and I eventually came across The Weeping Women by Picasso. I managed to see it up close and personal and the painting really encapsulated and embodied the emotion of grief and pain. And I think I felt the emotion quite strongly because it left me in a bit of a somber mood. So I decided to just wander around the gallery a little bit more, but after that I was is ready to head out and get some fresh air and just go see different sights and scenes of nature and Melbourne. This time I headed out to the Yarra River where I kind of just sat there. This is pretty much the area that's close to South Bank. It is also within the vicinity of the Flinders Street Station. Guys, I'm chilling here by the river and I feel like as soon as I got to the cafe it just went all dim and it wasn't as nice and bright anymore I didn't get to film too much because I happened to stumble across an old friend from high school so we were just kind of like chatting and catching up I guess it's been like six seven years since we last saw each other so it's been a long time so yeah we were just catching up I didn't want to be intrusive and vlog or anything because that's just weird so yeah, anyways, I went to the NGV and I am here, <laughs> just chilling around Melbourne. Basically everything's normal, nobody wears masks anymore. As you can see, some people still choose to, um, but that's up to them. I was wearing masks for a good period, but we've been COVID free for so long now. It's been like 50 something days, so kind of just don't see the point anymore, so yeah. But I do keep socially distanced, I don't really come into contact with people when I'm out so maybe that's why I don't really feel the need to but if I was in a large group I definitely would but yeah this is Covert Free Melbourne it's quite I guess quiet because today is a Wednesday so not many people are out and about and people are at home it's also approaching winter so everyone is kind of like into the hibernation at the moment I thought it would be so nice and sunny but it's just <laughs> the sun's gone so yeah this is what we have left just thought I'd show you guys more of Melbourne what Melbourne has to offer but this is this is it um, we're pretty much COVID free so yeah so yeah I don't know what else to say I guess I will just show you guys around I was reading my book which is the wind up bird chronicle I'm almost done I'm like up to here so I'm very close to finishing the book so I think I might just chill here on the grass and just read some more and then just head out around here show you guys a bit more and then head home really not that sunny anymore I'm so sad but it's okay it's still a nice and quiet day out and it's not too cold so it's it's all G as you can see everyone's biking and walking around me everyone's doing so much exercise yeah so it's nice to be out and about instead of being cooped up at home Oh, and the chai was incredible, so yeah, <laughs> I feel pretty good.
the video. So I <laughs> there's a lady staring at me. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed Melbourne. I'm just gonna chill here in this like little space uh, where everyone just kinda sits and looks at the view of the city and thought I would just chill here and watch the sunset and say goodbye. So if you guys haven't yet, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell button if you haven't. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!